Hey, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into my video today. And now before we jump into the video guys, in regards to that intro, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you like that intro? And if you do like that intro, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, this video is a little bit different from the ones I normally do. This is just a kind of follow up on the projects that I discuss more in our discord and moreover what i think is happening with the current state of the market so as you guys will have known bitcoin is kind of trending a little bit down right now um you know we've been um on this downtrend for a couple of days now um as you guys can see starting on march 28th so exactly one month ago uh we did get into this downtrend and it has uh, been followed through so far and it, it is struggling and of course alongside that we have uh, altcoins uh, really getting hit hard as we can see even right here phantom is now under one dollar and just bear in mind guys that this was three dollars at one point so the fact that bitcoin is doing bad i definitely do think it has a large hand in all these altcoins and you know these coins inside these altcoins doing bad um, however i do think there's more to it than meets the eye so bitcoin dumping obviously is number one secondly it creates a lot of fear and anxiety number two number three what i want to really say is there's been a lot of rug pulls a lot of exploits a lot of people running away blaming another person a lot of this kind of stuff that we are seeing now on a daily basis and i think that is really scaring a lot of people in DeFi. um and you know a lot of the reputable companies that we know for auditing and so on and so forth are actually coming out to have not done their jobs properly so as we saw with elephant money that recently launched they had an audit with certic which is known as one of the best one of the biggest auditing companies but even they uh ended up getting exploited and people lost millions of dollars similarly we had obsidian council uh much love to the team however it is visible that there was a rug pull that just happened um this morning with village finance a project that was uh, up and coming um and there was it is visible that high point also did suffer as the team did shut down uh, and that was really bad for a lot of people that invested as well me included i was invested in it as well so with all these kind of rugs and exploits and projects shutting down and stuff, it definitely does bring a lot of fear to people. Um, in the middle, we saw that drip forks and baked beans forks were doing good for a little bit, but it got so saturated. And uh, I'd say 80% to 90% of all drip forks that I've seen have either been exploited or rugged or essentially just been um, extremely dumped on you know nobody's following the strategy and similarly for baked beans forks i think everybody has seen that these projects have suffered a lot where there isn't a constant uh influx of new investors a constant new flow of new investors and as such these projects are not being able to give people that eight percent a day even if they do follow the six one strategy i myself am also suffering that from a couple of projects that i invested in that honestly aren't doing so good however uh one of the main projects that i do talk about in our discord make sure you guys do join our discord if you haven't already we are always active in the discord and talking all the time discussing projects um and as you guys could see savannah finance uh, or has been doing pretty poorly um savannah did get up to a dollar 55 but ever since then we did see kind of trending downwards um all the way down to today where it hit 98 cents now luckily it did pump back up and i am indeed hoping to see this uh pump a little bit further as we do have the launch pad that is going to start very soon as you guys can see it starts in 12 hours and it will be going on for 24 hours so during this time i do think savannah could hopefully get a little bit of a pump i know a lot of people in our discord are invested in savannah and are looking to um you know potentially invest in uh burrow so which is the token that is being on the launch pad or alternatively they're trying to flip their savannah for a profit which is also a viable strategy 
um, now all in all it has been very bloody the price action has been very choppy and very hurtful and I know a lot of people have suffered however I am still hopeful for its near future now me personally I do think that I will be moving away from Savannah shortly more specifically I am going to try to accumulate and get more mad um, in my portfolio because I do know that and, or, and I do believe rather that MM Finance is indeed um, going to have a mad being used um, in the near future and as you guys can see it only has 5 million liquidity so in my opinion there is a lot of upside potential as soon as there is some buys that do come in uh, because of the fact that it has low liquidity it will take it won't take that much to push the price up in comparison to savannah for example as we saw it has 118 million liquidity so i will be moving some of my funds uh, into um, mad i personally will be keeping um, some m share as well however my personal holdings of savannah might be reduced just a little bit because of the fact that i do believe inflation is going to slowly slowly start to creep up now of course i might be wrong and as always this is not financial advice but that's just kind of the trend that i have been seeing and as such i do uh, not like these extremely volatile uh, times and I want to get into something where my risks versus reward uh, is more reasonable now other than that guys obviously s polar as you guys know Polaris finance for those of you that don't know what Polaris finance is it is uh, essentially a tomb fork over on Aurora and it has been doing absolutely splendid uh, I personally have several wallets invested into Polaris Finance and I am very happy with my returns that I'm getting so far It's doing decent, you know, in, in just for example in this um, on this wallet, I am both in Lunar and in Polar Sunrise and I personally have been getting, you know, over what 1% mark as you guys can see 437% APR um, on these accounts as I, I do have several accounts in here as I am um a, a believer in uh, polaris finance so it is definitely a project that you guys can check out i uh, i'm actually in both sunrises on four wallets and on two of my wallets i'm only in the lunar just because it is really high on uh, above the peg if you guys want to see the peg price you could always jump over to the polaris finance discord and as you guys can see right now we're at 1.855 peg so almost double the current price of luna so me personally i am farming my lunars and um using those in the dawn as well right here you can pair your luna with your lunar and make uh as you guys can see one percent 1.1 percent every single day so there is uh, quite a lot of strategies that you guys can do here as i said join our discord we talk about it all the time uh polaris finance and mmf are the two main projects we always talk about so definitely do that if you haven't already as you guys can see this token has been only going up um, as there is a lot more news coming up as well guys um, and I want you guys to understand for people that are thinking oh like I'm a little bit too late I bought some more yesterday on this dip as well right so that's just how big of a believer I am now of course uh, you know never you, sh you should not marry a project um, and as such you should always manage your risk accordingly but I've been through this whole downwards turn you know we were at 200,000 TVL at one point and as you guys can see we're well above 16 million TVL now so definitely um, a very impressive feat for the Polaris finance team and of course for my account as well or for my wallets as well that I have been kind of climbing steadily um, every time and uh, it's been doing good ever since then I, I'm not gonna lie you know you get uh, your 1% every single day uh, a little bit more than one percent your tokens aren't locked up um, you can sell your tokens and strategize any way you want and for me personally that is an amazing opportunity so definitely feel like you guys should check this out um, there is as I said in my Polaris finance video I will leave it linked right above for you guys to watch there is a thermal coming up uh, in a couple of weeks so that is going to be their peg token their token that is going to be pegged to uh the ethereum so as you guys can see here for example lunar is pegged with one luna or it's supposed to be it's obviously doing even better than that which is obviously a good problem to have 
um, and similarly polar which is the uh, peg to near um, is doing better as well it's 1.5 so these are actually outperforming um, the main token which is absolutely insane to see now they are introducing the ethereum token as i mentioned thermal um, and obviously ethereum is a very popular token i definitely see this tbl jumping up to 30 million dollars really quickly and of course alongside that the price of s polar now if you guys don't understand why s polar is pumping you need to understand that s polar is a limited supply token and and because of the fact that the team is not printing at a stupid apr you know they're giving a reasonable bound one percent every single day it, it is sustainable it is not like they are offering 10% or 15% every single day, which obviously would have created this huge issue of inflation. But instead, what they did is they have a small supply. And on top of that, they're giving out very little every single day, which makes sure that the protocol is going to last in the mid to long term. All right, as you guys can see right here, it has the total supply and the circulating supply. Now, um, with that being said, guys, these are kind of my two main uh, projects that I am uh, invested in heavily. I definitely suggest you guys do your own research and none of this is financial advice. If you are holding Savannah, please leave a comment down below as to where do you think Savannah price is going to go? Are you going to keep holding Savannah or are you going to be moving into other assets? If so, which asset? Um, and of course, uh, if you guys are in Polaris Finance, what price do you think S Polar is going to go to with the Eternal token launching? Let me know down below. And as always, guys, make sure you join the Discord so that we can chat over there. Thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope you all have an amazing week. And as always, guys, let's get that bag. Peace.